looks from down there like it's trying to fire, but not firing. We are in remote. Somebody's been into the high limit before. It's missing a screw. It's your TS-114. That's the temp sensor that helps maintain the supplier temperature and modulates the burner. That's when we kick it back in. Goes, damper goes first. Just hurt the gas valve. That thing's rocking and rolling, man. That's not a good flame. Something right there. So there's your actual. It's got an end switch inside here too, so it had to have opened and made the end switch. Let's verify that my damper's actually moving. Panel off. Looks like that damper's stuck. <laughs> It's making the end switch as long as nobody's bypassed the damn thing. Wouldn't surprise me. Damper's got to be open. That's your end switch. It's making prematurely, so you can actually adjust from here. That little gear will turn. So when it makes, it closes that switch and it knows the damper's open. But the damper looked like it rotated, so. Let's uh, put it in local and see if we can't cycle that damper. So we can come here and just go off for now. Shouldn't do anything. And we can keep the burner off and just kick the blower on. Close this back up and now that the damper's open let's see if the burner will fire first and then we can get into the actuator problem what happens if that damper stays open is uh, if it shuts off satisfy space temp you'll get cold air migrate down and it'll actually drop down into the space let's uh give it a shot and see if it won't fire got airflow now so it's gonna keep running Let's let it run for a minute and see I think it's three three and eight or six and eight maybe you pull the wire and it goes to low fire you pull the other wire it goes to high fire so we can do that as well make sure the uh, burner modulates that way. this is the entering temp sensor you can see we're set that switch is 45 so 45 degrees if it senses the burner's not fired it shuts everything off the selector here like it started to kind of back off let's adjust that down let's say 130 ish and then we'll fire the burner again That burner's still lit right now and modulated when I back this off. And I don't know if you all can hear that, but you can hear the uh, the burner modulate when you hit this. This is what the supplier we're trying to maintain. So now we know the burner works. Uh, we got the damper open, so now we gotta figure out what the hell's going on with the damper. When I'm looking for something, come over here to your legend and just find your damper motor. So D and D1 is my damper motor. D1 and it goes through the overload and then the MS is the motor starter. Note two, note two, where'd you go? Damper will not close unless the blower service switch is in the remote position. All right, so we do have a calibration procedure for that. Pull the blower wire so you don't have a call for G and then and we'll make sure it doesn't bottom out there. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna lock it up either way. 
We should be able to just put it local now. Just make sure we're fully open. That's perfect. You saw it didn't bind up at all as it was uh, opening that damper and it came on right when it was supposed to. My damper's doing what it's supposed to now. So just to show y'all what's inside this box here, there's your TS-114. That's the temp sensor. I don't know what you call it, a sampling tube or what, but the air comes in here and then I think it's got another spot on the bottom where it goes out because this is your high limit. And that's why they give you this little grommet, a K-type probe, and just go right in there. And that should give us an accurate reading of what our actual temp sensor's reading. 160 degrees or whatever you're set on. It depends on models. Some of these smaller ones are 130. I think that's where I had my brain at earlier. So let's get all this back in and turn her on. Uh, we're just gonna kick it back in to remote and remote. Let's see what kind of supply temp we get. Now I've seen it modulate by just adjusting that dial. So I've, I've got it set back to 160. And we're just gonna let it sit for a few minutes and run. Um, it should hit that 160 mark and start backing off. There it goes, backing down. Now, let's see where we're at with this guy. About 40 degrees, right at that 160 mark. I like it. I think the only problem was that damper being jacked up, and I don't know how it got that way. This thing sounds good now. I'm gonna go down, clean up all my stuff, and talk to the customers. Leave the trade better than you found it, guys. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.